I want to share with you guys something first before we get into the forecast. Uh, I had the pleasure of heading out to uh, Perry yesterday. Got to meet with the second, third, and fourth graders at Perry Elementary and uh, talk about uh, broadcasting a little bit, what I do, what meteorologists do. Ah, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, but also, they do their morning announcements in front of a green screen. There's the, uh, uh, the group of the four girls that do the morning announcements in the morning and had to have a little fun with it, obviously, before we head on into the forecast. Temperatures 67 in Grand Blanc, 68 in Durant, 68 in Essexville as well. 65 in Bad Axe. We're talking about a lot of heat still on the way for today. 78 for your high across the southern counties this afternoon. Southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. We're talking about a big uh, heat up still in the forecast for us. We're not quite there just yet. We've also got a lot of that wind still sticking around. Showers and storms still possible as we head into the end of the day. Now 78 for the high in the Tri-Cities and the Thumb as well. 30 mile an hour gusts possible along with those sustained winds up towards 20 miles an hour. As we head through the day, though, partly cloudy skies, kind of a mix of sun and clouds. In our northern counties, while you're cooler, you also only have an isolated shower chance, not as heavy as down to the south. Now, in the future cast, this illustrates it pretty well. Watch this. The shower activity comes on up from the south, and as it heads on into the metro Detroit area, that's where the strongest storms are going to be. We, however, I do believe will get what we what I like to call some spillover. It kind of spills on over into the thumb and into the southern counties. Weather doesn't really follow defined lines like that, obviously. So we're watching for some showers and some storm chances through that area. Our northern counties just an isolated chance. We clear on up tonight, though, and as we head into the next seven days, it looks still like we've got a ton of heat in store for us. Talking about 83. That's the warmest on Friday, where we start to get a lot of heat, some more moisture heading on into the weekend. Friday night, Saturday and into Sunday. We've got a bit of a cool down there uh, and we're still sticking in the 70s, but we clear on up for the beginning of next week. Looks gorgeous and it looks comfortable, not as humid as what we've got. Oh, we love it. 